What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to be talking about Solo Spire of the Watcher. I'm on an Arc Titan for this video. As far as my armor goes for the Arc Titan, I ended up using Heart of Inmost Light and Curious of the Falling Star. For Ad Clear, I used Heart of Inmost, obviously, and then when it was time for damage, I just swapped to Curious. As far as Ad Clear for this build goes, the aspect Knockout carries this build tremendously, as Knockout makes your melees infused with Arc Energy. Once you critically wound an enemy, so for example, a Goblin in this case, all I have to do is punch it, get its health low, and after that, my melee is infused with Arc Energy. And then once you get a melee kill, not only do you get health regeneration back, but it also makes you amplified. So quite literally, all you have to do is punch somebody and get them weak with your melee, and then finish the job with another punch, and you get healed. As far as my weapons go, for the first boss, I was using Izanagi's strategy was quite simple. I just stacked up to the max armor charges I could hold. Once I finished the last node, I just swapped to Curious and did my damage from there. For the last encounter, it's basically the same thing, but instead of Izanagi's, I used Wither Horde with the Catalyst. For those who don't know, Wither Horde with the Catalyst gives it auto-loading holster, so I literally just shoot, reload, and repeat. Same strategy, running around punching things just so I can get my health back. In the moment it's time for damage, I swap my chest piece, boom, damage is done, swap back. But yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for this video. I just wanted to talk about this arc build that I use to get through Spire all the time. But yeah, guys, that's going to be it for the video. Hope this helps, and thanks for watching.